What's up, family? My name is Elijah Ami, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a grown folk channel. This is where we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and keep it real. Here on this channel, everybody matters. Everybody's family. Here on this channel, we express love because at our core, we are love. I love you guys, and thank you for being with me on this beautiful journey called life. Peace. What's up, family? Man. I want to have a heart to heart with you guys today, okay? But before, man, there's some administrative stuff I have to take care of. I'm not good at this stuff, but man, I'm trying, you know. Hey, if you haven't been to the website, ElijahAmi.com, uh, man, you have to go check that out, okay? There's a lot more stuff on there that we've just uploaded. Um, sweaters, um, hoodies, all kinds of stuff, you know, um, with logos of some, some of the sayings that we say. On this channel stay with me i'll be um i don't even know my own sayings you know what I mean? stay with me i'm going somewhere happy healing um there's leggings there's just a bunch of stuff on there um some little stuff for your animals your pets too um so check that out also if you're interested in a coaching or mentoring session man that discounted price of 50 dollars for half an hour runs out next weekend um i want to say like the 17th or 18th um, so if you want to get in on that discounted price of $50 for half an hour, again, that ends out next Friday. After that, it'll go back to $75 half an hour. That being said, um, also family, if you're interested in going on the trip to Jamaica with us, the retreat, the healing journey, man, you have to get your reservations in. Man, there's a link on my website also that'll take you straight into that page, the website for that page. And so you could get that done, taken care of. The registration of $500 has to be done by March 15th. March 15th is the deadline for the reser reservations for that. Now we got all that out the way. I'm not good at that stuff. <laughs> I hate talking about that stuff. I don't know why, but family. I love martial arts. I love Kung Fu. Love it. And I get so many people, man, why don't you teach Kung Fu? Why don't you teach me how to fight? Man, why don't you show me these moves? Why don't you show me how to fight? It's like, why do you want to learn how to fight? And they have all these reasons, you know. I have all these women, man, teach me how to fight. Teach me how to defend myself. Teach me how to protect myself. Okay. I don't teach people to fight. And I share with people. And, and I've pissed some people off. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. All these people come to me, man, you're good at fighting. You're good at fighting, teach me how to fight. It's like you've been fighting your whole life. Why don't you let me teach you how to live? And they just look at me, you know, with this befuddled look, you know, teach me how to live. I know how to live. It's like, no, you don't know how to live. You know how to exist. You know how to survive. Surviving and living are not the same thing. Existing and living are not the same thing. You came into the world kicking and screaming. You came into the world fighting. Let me teach you how to live. And for so many of us, we have this arrogant mentality about us oh i know how to live it da, 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 da. and that's why i did it man you don't if you don't have if you don't live with peace of mind if you don't have joy that passes all understanding you don't know how to live if every day you wake up and you're not extremely grateful and happy to be alive and if you don't have that joy that just Man, it's all good. You don't know how to live. You think you know how to live, and that's your problem. Because you think you know how to live, you won't humble yourself and listen to somebody try to show you that, man, you have some twisted concepts about life that's preventing you from living peaceful, that's preventing you from having peace of mind, that's preventing you from having joy. But we got everything figured out. You can't tell people nothing now. Because they could get on social media. They could get on YouTube and everywhere else. And people have this kind. Con they won't listen to you. 
but they'll go listen to somebody else. You know what I mean? For whatever reason, they'll come to you with all this other stuff. And then when you tell them, man, you need to grow the hell up. And you tell them, man, you got some stuff about you that's preventing you from living your best life. You got some thought patterns and some beliefs that you need to change. Man, they ain't trying to hear that. You know what I mean? You're indicting them. You're judging them. And we'll do. It's like, I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. Live however you want to live. I don't care. That's your life. Your choice. You know what I mean? But don't come to me and tell me, man, teach me how to fight. And not expect me to say something to you. Don't come to me and tell me, man, Jesus is the answer for everything. And you're depressed and you're suicidal. Don't come to me with all this foolishness, you know what I mean? And not expect me to say, okay. You know what I mean? We have to grow up, family, and we have to humble ourselves. We have to humble ourselves because when you don't humble yourself, God, the most high, source, universe, whatever you want to consider it or call it, it has a way of humbling you. It has a way of knocking you on your ass and getting you to that point where you'll surrender. That's what life is going to do. It's going to make you surrender or it's going to make you check out. And when you look at the great majority of the people walking on this planet in America, the great majority of them have already checked out. They're here, but they've already given up. They're here, but they're not chasing their dreams. They're here, but they're not going to reach their full potential. They're not worried about reaching their full potential. They're here, but they're still in, they're in existent mode. They're here, but they're walking zombies. They're zombies. Have no concept, no idea that life could change. No idea that life can be better. Because we get stuck in this, on this treadmill, running fast, but not going nowhere, not accomplishing anything. And so we get exhausted, we get tired, and we just give up. We give up on love, we give up hope, we give up on our dreams, we give up on everything. We just start settling. It don't even matter no more. Whatever happens, happens. I don't even care. You know what I mean? We go through that because we don't know how to live. But we won't humble ourselves and ask somebody to teach us how to live. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. And so many of us, we want to fake the funk and act like, man, I got peace and I got joy. And you really don't. You really don't. You're two steps away from fucking suicide and you know it. But because we don't want people to quote unquote look down on us, we don't want to humble ourselves and put this person and act like this person's above us, even though nobody's above anybody. You know what I mean? But because we got low self-esteem and insecurities and self-doubt, man, if I humble myself and come to you and ask you for help, that's elevating you and that's putting you above me. And that's how our twisted thought process go. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. So many of you won't ever get the help you need because you won't humble yourself. You won't humble yourself. And it is what it is. You know what I mean? This is your life. This is your journey. It is what it is. My purpose, my role is to show you and to tell you that, hey, I don't care what you've gone through. I don't care what you're going through. You could change all of that. I don't care what you've gone through. I don't care what you're going through. You can have peace of mind if you want it. But the great majority of us, we don't want peace of mind. We say we do, but we don't because we won't let go of our victim mentality. We want to be a victim. We cherish being a victim. It gives us a sense of purpose. And we hold on to it. And with that victim mentality comes all the other toxic crap attached to it.
We have to grow up. We have to grow up. We have to learn how to live. Learning how to live has nothing to do with going to church, going to a temple, going to a mosque. We have to learn how to live. We have to learn to see the beauty and the lessons in everything. We have to understand that in every situation, every situation i don't care what it is in every situation there is a beautiful lesson and a blessing you don't see the lesson and you don't see the blessing because your thought process is jacked up you don't see the lesson and you don't see the blessing because your thinking pattern is damaged because you're on some negative crap because you're on a victim mentality We have to change the way we think. There's nothing wrong with learning Kung Fu or any martial art. But don't learn martial arts to learn how to fight. Learn martial arts to learn how to live. See, but we don't want to do that. We want to be able to block and kick and strike and hit this person and flip this person over and jump up, do a roundhouse kick and do all these amazing feats. We want to be dazzle people with our athletic ability. Why don't you learn how to humble yourself and impress people with your humility, with your gratitude, with your love, with the peace of mind that you have, with the joy that you have. So that impresses people. That moves people because people see, man, there's something different about you. There's something peculiar about you. There's something special about you. But it's not even that we're trying to impress people with that stuff. It just happens. There's an aura about you that draws people to you. There's a presence about you that when you walk in a room, you light it up. You don't have to say nothing. Just your presence commands their attention. Just your presence lets them know that, man, they're in the presence of greatness. Just your presence messes with their demons. And when I mean demons, it messes with their self-esteem, their insecurities, their arrogance. Just your presence. You ain't got to toot your horn, pop your collar in, none of that stupid stuff. You ain't got to say a whole bunch of fancy words trying to impress them. That's not what it is. That's not what it's about. It's about your spiritual being. Being in control of your life. It's about you learning how to humble your ego and put your ego in check. See, most of us, we think, man, you got an ego when you're arrogant. That's all ego when you're arrogant and hyping yourself up and talking about what your capabilities are, what they will do. That's all ego. But it's also all ego when you self-doubting yourself, when you hate yourself, when you minimizing yourself, when you belittle yourself, you put yourself down and you, all this other stupid stuff you do. That's ego too. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. We have to learn how to live. For those of you that want to change the world, to make the world a more loving, a more peaceful place, a more accepting place, a more tolerant place. 
Man, it has to start with you. It has to start with you. And it has to come from within you. And it can only come from within you when you make the appropriate changes. And you learn to sit in your darkness. You learn to sit in your trauma and your drama and you heal that. You learn to bring your ego under control. And you surrender the authority of your ego to your soul. Now you're able to walk in your purpose. Now you're a greater version of yourself. Now you have that peace of mind. Now you have that joy that passes all understanding. Now you know without a shadow of doubt, man, it's all good. It's all, no matter what it is, it's all good. It's all good because it's always going to work out for me. Why? Because I'm in alignment. I'm in alignment. And it doesn't matter what's going on around me. It's going to work out for my benefit. It doesn't matter what people say, what people do. It's going to work out for my benefit. So I don't give a crap about people putting curses or trying to put curses and all this other stupid stuff. People trying to block my blessings. Whatever the hell they want to do, that's them. That's their issue. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me. And yet you, I hear all these enlightened individuals, all these chosen ones, all these anointed and appointed ones, and all this other stupid crap. You know what I mean? These ignorant ass titles we give ourselves to sound important, to sound like we've arrived, you know, to sound like we know some stuff. Yeah, all these people talking about what everybody else is doing. Man, they're going to block your blessings and they're doing this and they're, man, these people can't do shit to you when you know who you are. When you know who you are and you walk in your power and you walk in your anointing and you walk in your authority, man, can't nobody touch you. And what I mean by can't nobody touch you, man, it's all good. Whatever the hell they think they're doing to sabotage you or to break you down or to mess you up, or man, it's all good. Man, let them do it. You don't get caught up in the stupid stuff. Because you don't mind them doing stupid shit. Why? Because you know. It's all good. You know it's all going to work out for you. So you can sit back in your peace. You can sit back in joy and not give a damn what these people do. Not give a damn what these people say. You don't care about them trying to destroy your character. You don't care about them trying to put curses on you and all this other. I mean, you don't give a damn about that shit. You only get caught up in that stuff because you lose focus and you're not connected to who you are. You're not in alignment with your greater version, your greater self. You're in ego. You're not living the best life possible. I see so many of us, we think, man, living the best version of myself is having all the money. Living the best version of myself is having the nice cars and the big houses. That stuff is fine. But it's a lot of people with those things that's suicidal. It's a lot of people with those things that are depressed and popping pills. So having nice stuff is not reflective of you living your best life. We have to grow up. We have to grow up, family. We have to learn how to go within. We have to learn how to sit in our funk and sit in whatever it is, wherever it is, where we're at. You know what I mean? Man, I talk a lot about, man, the power of now. Man, being present in this very moment. Not giving a damn about what happened yesterday. Not giving a damn about what you went through in the past. Not giving a damn about what's going to happen in the future. Why? Because, man, I'm living in my present moment. I'm living in now. 
I'm living in now. Stay with me because we're about to go somewhere. See, because as long as I get, as long as I'm focused and fixated on all the shit that's happened to me, all the bad stuff, man, that's where depression comes in. That's where anger and resentment and bitterness comes in. That's where depression and animosity and all these other negative feelings, that's where all that crap comes in at. Sadness and all that other madness. You know what I mean? And I start looking at the future and I start stressing and, and worrying about the future. Man, anxiety kicks in. Fear kicks in. Fear kicks in when I'm looking at the past. Fear kicks in when I'm looking at the future. Fear kicks in when I'm distracted and I'm focused on other stupid shit. Fear kicks in. But see, when I go within... And I bring my mind, my ego under control. And I allow my spiritual being to reign supreme in my life. There is no fear. There is no depression. There is no animosity. There is no anger and bitterness and resentment and hatred and jealousy and prejudice and all this other stupid crap. There's none of that. None of that. There's only love. There's only gratitude. There's only joy. There's only peace. There's only compassion. See, so many of us, man, especially those of us that we say we're spiritual, you know what I mean? Man, we live a bipolar schizophrenic life. We do. Man, we're up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's like, fuck. Man, your spiritual beings, your guardian angels, and your your guys, they got to be like, what the fuck? These motherfuckers, let me, let me give you some pills just to calm you the fuck down. Because your ass is all over the place. You high, low, high, low, high, low. You everywhere. You're like a feather just floating in the wind, whatever direction the breeze blows. That's where you at. Because you have no self-control. You had no self-control over this. Your ego. See, we learn martial arts to control the physical being. We want to learn how to do some stuff physically. But the great majority of us never understand that the true purpose of martial arts, the true purpose of Kung Fu is up here. It's mind. And all these teachers don't teach you that because the great majority of y'all don't want to learn that. Y'all just want to know moves and stuff. So you can impress people. We have to grow up. We have to grow up. Man, family, my hope and prayer is that you learn how to humble yourself. Because if you don't humble yourself, you're going to be humbled. And it's not going to feel good. And the great majority of us, as we get humbled, we're going to get angry. We're going to get bitter and all this other crazy stuff. And then we're going to stay in that and take on that victim mentality even more so. Even more so. Humble yourself. How do you humble yourself? Acknowledge the fact that you don't know it all. Acknowledge the fact that, man, you're fighting up in here. You're at war up here. Your mind cannot be quiet. Man, we call it monkey noise, monkey chatter. Man, it's just constant. It's gone 24-7. So you can't go to sleep. You can't get no rest. Even when everything's quiet around you, your mind is... Da, 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 da. I should do this. I should do that. I should do... What about this? What about that? You can't be still. You can sit there perfectly still and be exhausted, be tired. Why? Not because you exert any energy physically, but because your mind is fucking uncontrollable. Because your mind is shot and is off the hook. It's a runaway train. 
because you haven't learned how to bring it under control. Nothing is more important than you learning how to control your ego, your mental health, your mental health. Nothing's more important than that. Because as your mental health goes, so goes your spiritual health. So goes your physical health. It starts with this. It starts with this. And that's why many of us can't meditate because we can't silence the noise. We've never learned how to silence the noise. And so we give up on meditation. We've never learned how to silence the noise because we're so used to chaos. We're so used to distractions. We're so used to just noise everywhere, everywhere. So we'll have TVs on, video games on, the radio on. We'll have all this shit go, and we're on our cell phone. And we got all this shit going on around us. We got all this noise going on around us. And we have to have this noise going on. And it's like, I know so many people, man, they can't go to sleep unless they got the TV on. And it's like, that's fucking noise. They won't even lay down until they, unless they have the TV on. It is what it is. It is what it is. Do you? I'm just here to tell you, to show you that life can be more fulfilling. Life can be more joyous. You can be more happy. You can have more peace. You can feel more fulfilled. You can fulfill that empty spot, that void spot. That's within you. You do all the stuff that you do, but yet there's that emptiness. Like something's missing. Like something ain't right. Like there's a hole in you. You can fix that, but you have to fix this first. You have to fix this first. So many people, man, that emptiness, that void. I mean, man, you got to have Jesus. That's why you got that emptiness. That's why you got that void. That's why you got that hole in you because you're missing Jesus and you need Jesus. Well, I know all these people that's ran to Jesus and man, they still got that emptiness. They still got that void. They're still committing adultery. They're still fornicating. They're still beating their spouse. They're still cheating on their spouse. They're still abusing their kids. They still have low self-esteem. They still have racism. They still have jealousy. They still have rage. They still have hatred. They haven't accomplished anything. But they've become religious. Which has made them more arrogant, more narcissistic, more self-righteous, more judgmental. You have to fix this. You have to fix this. When you fix this, you fix your world. You fix your world. May you find the peace that you've been longing for. May you find the joy that you yearn. May you come into balance with who you really are. May you discover that you're really love at your core. That's all that you are is love. Everything else is an illusion. It's an illusion. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.